What's up guys? So today I wanted to make a video on how I detail in the heat. So today it was supposed to hit 95, but it's actually gonna be like 88 today, 86, something like that, uh, which is still hot, but it's not as bad as it was gonna be. So I figured I'd put a video out there telling you guys the steps that I take to not die. <laughs> It can get really exhausting just detailing in general. And then when you have that heat beating on you, the sun, you just get so tired. So it's very important to stay safe. I'd say probably step one is to get yourself a canopy. Uh, the size that I have is a 10 by 10. I ordered mine on Amazon. I got it set up over there. It's um, it's Eagle Beat. So yeah, 10 by 10, uh, it's a single person one. So it's pretty easy to set up by yourself and it'll block that sun from beating on it, it'll make it a little bit easier because when you have the sun beating on the glass and you're doing the exterior, you got it beating on the paint, it, everything's gonna dry so fast that it's gonna be really hard to get it done in a decent time, especially doing it alone, like me. Today, I'm doing an F350 inside and out. It's a work truck and I do this thing about once a month. Uh, normally, we just stick to doing the interiors because he doesn't really care about the outside. But today he wanted to get it done, wanted to just put a spray coating on it, nothing too crazy. Keep it protected and go on. So I think what we talked about is doing this uh, once per year, the exterior. Just kind of keeping it up to date. So, you know how to peak your anger, just start recording a video. So I'd say for the second tip um, to stay cool when it gets hot out, starting earlier than you normally do. I mean, you guys might start at 6 a.m. Personally, I don't. I'm not a morning person at all. So if I could sleep in a little bit before I get started with the day, that's what I'm trying to do. But normally I'll try to get started around nine. Today I started at seven. It's not gonna start getting hot until about one to two, so I should be out of here by then. So I don't really have to deal with it. So in the last video, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I threw a entire list of my favorite products and some of the tools that I use. Right now I'm using the PNS Express Interior. This stuff is incredible. I put it in an IK sprayer. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of these sprayers. Uh, they're way too overpriced. It's like, uh, like how people buy hype shoes. This is like the hype spray bottle. I, I only have one because I bought it at a car show and I wanted to try it. I'm, I mean, it's a good spray bottle, but it's, there's nothing special about it. And uh, I read a lot of reviews about them and people say they break really easily. I've had mine for a little over a year and it hasn't broken yet. <laughs> Honestly, I, I barely even use spray bottles. I'll use these instead because all you gotta do is pump it and then you can spray it down. And when you're spraying all day, doing this it can hurt your finger a lot or it can just it can just start getting uncomfortable it's so humid bro it's 63 and it literally feels like 70. uv is one humidity is 99 percent oh my god so i'd say for the third tip is make sure you guys take breaks so in the beginning what i would do personally is not take a break because i thought it was just wasting time sorry about that uh, I thought I was just wasting time. I just wanted to get in and out as fast as possible. And that's not the case at all. You guys need to make sure you take your breaks. Uh, it's gonna make the detail be so much better for you because when I didn't take breaks and I'd be spending six, seven, eight hours on one car, by the end of it, I literally was ready to go home so bad. I was so miserable. I had a GMC Yukon three months ago and what I said was, I'll spend two hours there, then I'm gonna take a break, and then I'll work until maybe one or two, I'll take another break for lunch, and then after that, I'll finish it up. If another break is necessary, I'll take it. Don't be afraid to take breaks. You're not wasting time. Uh, you're just rejuvenating your energy because you're gonna get strained way too fast if you don't take breaks. So, good tip right there. Make sure you take breaks. Like, I'm not saying sit for 30 minutes to an hour to take a break. Maybe 10, 15 minutes if you need it, or even five if it's only like an hour after you took a break. Whenever you need a break, take a break. So what I have for you guys right now is get yourself a canopy. Start a little bit earlier than you normally do, one to two hours, whatever it is. Uh, unless you already start at like 5, 6 a.m., then you're pretty much fine. Uh, and then take your breaks. I mean, that goes for any day really at all, but especially on hot days. But 
take your breaks. And then a pretty obvious one I have is wear sunscreen. Uh, you want to protect your skin when you're doing this stuff. We're not going to the beach to get a suntan or try to work and when you got the hot sun beating on you, it makes it miserable. So wear your sunscreen. If you guys are watching this, you probably detail yourself. Um, drop a comment on what your favorite product is because I really want to try some new things. Uh, right now I use Adams and PNS. All right, I'm gonna finish up this interior. Once it gets to the outside, I'll tell you guys the next tip, but for now, I gotta finish this up. All right, guys, so it's been a couple hours since I just made that last clip. Um, I finished cleaning up the exterior, got the wheels done. Uh, now I'm gonna be putting that coating on, but just wanted to stop in real quick and give you the next tip. So I'd say the next tip is try to stay inside the vehicle. When you're doing it, if you're doing the interior or something, you wanna try to get inside the vehicle and stay in there if it's possible. Um, a lot of the, or the windows most of the time they're tinted so it'll block that sun and the UV rays out So you're not gonna get a sunburn or just get exhausted as fast as you would if you are outside I also want to show you where I'm at right now with the truck I used the wash mitt over the whole truck uh, Rinsed it off and now I'm here. This is the coating right here the graphene ceramic spray coating by Adams If you guys haven't tried the graphene line from Adams, you have to try it. It's incredible so when I'm all done with the car, I'll give you guys a quick walkthrough and then that'll be pretty much it for the video. I have one more tip for you, so you definitely want to stay till the end, but for now, I'm going to finish up the truck. All right, so I finished up the truck. I'll give you a quick walkthrough and then I'll give you the last tip. So that's pretty much it for the truck. It took about seven to eight hours. For my last tip, I'd say if you work alone, uh, try to see if one of your friends can help you out. It'll just speed up the process and make it a lot better so you're not sitting in the sun. But yeah, that's pretty much it.